and the talented big man in Fuquan Edwin. He'll kick it out to Lorenzo Brown. He doesn't miss much. Devon Thompson in the game as well. Chris McCullough in the game for Erie, and he lays it in. Flat. Here's Gillen between the circles. Looks like they've gone to uh, what looks like a 2-3 zone here. Gillen up top, knocks down the three. He had very little to do with what happened on the basketball floor, but uh, since that time, the Bayhawks have gone 23-9 as Gillen drives in from the right side and lays it in. First pick with the Toronto Raptors as well as Fufon. Edwin has it knocked away and stolen by John Gillen. Gillen with a burst, goes down the lane, drops it off McCullough in traffic. Got it to Evans who slams it home. I think a lot of people watching this game and you know, a lot of college basketball fans who might be tuning in. Wow, Gillen somehow got left alone. He lays it in. All seven of his points here in the second quarter. Perhaps Josh Longstaff prefers this to a forced shot in transition. Gillen though takes a 35-footer and hits it. Forced, you were saying. <laughs> Going on a 15-0 run here and having a hard time picturing it. Happening. Here's Gillen right around Brown. Gets to the rim and lays it in. So Gillen just killing some time out in the center circle. And Josh McGinn continues to left. Gillen drives to the hoop and lays it in. Boy, is he quick. Literally five seasons. I mean, we're talking 13 wins, 12 wins, those sorts of records in a 50-game slate. So this was a best the launches run up. And now we'll run out the final eight seconds. John Gillen coast to coast with a layup and would have been called a goaltend, says Andy Nagy. It went in anyway, so it's largely irrelevant.